We are at the Homeport Marina. It happens to be right next to a restaurant called Lulu's, which is right up there. And it was a very nice stay for us here. See, there is a bridge there, but we could not hear the traffic. We could hear the music more than we heard the traffic. And we stayed here for two nights, getting a little issue fixed on our boat. Had to get a diver go to go under the boat. But now we are ready to go. Well, we're getting close anyway. Sam's getting ready to start the engines. It's around 7.30 on November the 6th, 2021. Good morning. We are about ready to depart Lulu's. We've got a couple things to do. We've got to get the lines and the power off. But we are going to head east, and of all days, we're heading east. The weather looks great, maybe a little breezy um, winds out there, but nothing more than about 10 miles per hour. So heading eastbound on the Intracoastal Waterway, and there was a considerable amount of notice to mariners, and so we pulled that up rather than listen to the broadcast, and I can reference that, some missing buoys. But most important is an air show that is going to take place, so there's going to be a lot of traffic out there. So we're going to be dodging them and uh, playing it safe. There's a couple no wake zones uh, going through bridges, so it's going to be an interesting day. Great to have you along. We are backing out of Homeport Marina. Sam, there's a little boat back there, but it's quite a ways and we have a, a ways to get there, but just so you know. He looks like he's turning in here. Okay, now he's making an adjustment. Good. See how close you are. You got plenty of room in the front. No. I said he made an adjustment. Okay. So, is the wind just basically taking you back? I heard you go into gear here. Yeah, the rock wall. Yeah. Good idea. Let's see how you're doing over here. Yeah, you're looking good. Deep enough for you. Oh, right. There's nothing coming either way. So you got it all to yourself. No, no, you're really far away from the bridge. Nothing coming either way. That's a great start on the Intracoastal today. What's the depth? Okay, 13 will take it. We're heading to an anchorage somewhere, but nothing like getting up early and, you know, having the sun in your eyes. <laughs> but it's gonna be a great day out here. I'm trying to think positive. Because it is going to be crowded. Oh, did you know they had fuel here? <laughs> did you see that? Dolphins. Oh! Already, this loop is better for my dolphin watch. We're coming up on the wharf which is a hot spot for loopers and for anybody, quite frankly. Right behind that very tall condo looking building is um, an area where there's shops and restaurants and it is a very fun place to be. We did stop there last loop. This loop, we're just gonna be moving on. Sailing vessel east of the wharf. Sailing vessel east of the wharf, motor vessel here's to us.
He's under sale. Yeah, we have found that typically sailboats don't talk on the radio. So I think just hang over on this side. So what would you say? One out of ten talk to us? Yeah, and I think it's because they're upstairs and their radio's down. I don't know why. Yeah, you is, know that that could be it. Be and you know, so we're just well. Uh, well, I was gonna say they're outside. Yeah, they're and outside. And maybe hard to hear the radio. It could be. Um, so we are just go on the one like you're driving on a highway. Take it slow here. They're beautiful though, aren't they? Yeah, pretty beautiful. <laughs> a lot of work, and I hope it's a little chilly out there in the wind. Today. It's cold today, for. Yeah. Alabama for me. Yeah, I guess we'll be crossing the line into Florida at some point here. I don't know exactly where it is. I'll put my Google Maps on it. <laughs> Welcome to Florida. Yeah. <laughs> you got you got enough depth, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I got plenty of depth. Okay. Yeah. I just want to make sure. Yes, yeah. They're really beautiful look at mm -hmm. but like you said that's a lot of work <laughs> oh yeah, yeah they're all the, bundled up got the and yeah all they're that waving with their there. gloves <laughs> an update here on our journey toward Carabelle where we're trying to get the boat to and prepare for the crossing which is a big event in our lives to cross the uh, Gulf of Mexico to get it over to the Clearwater and Tarpon Springs area, but we're at mile 165.5 Beautiful homes along here and we're just kind of cruising along at about uh, nine and a half miles an hour It's about where our sweet spot is for low speed cruising for fuel efficiency And just enjoying it every once in a while. We'll see a dolphin out there. So exciting. Yeah, and we are going to be coming up on the air show, the Pensacola air show, and we timed it just perfectly. <laughs> and actually, we didn't really want to be in the midst of the air show, but we just found out that it is going to be about the same time we're going through. So we will stay in the intracoastal waterway. There are a couple of no wake zones that will be coming up near bridges and such, so we'll respect those. We have gotten the notice to mariners, uh, went online and got that and studied up on it. But just a beautiful day out here. We've only seen uh, one or two boats pass us this morning, a sailboat and uh, a powerboat. So just enjoying it very much out here on the Gulf Intracoastal Waterway. We're coming up to Pensacola well, eventually, but we have been really blown away by how beautiful these white sandy beaches are. You can see over there on the right hand side, it's, it's, I mean, what do you say? It's worth, it's worth doing the loop to see this. Now we are starting to see some traffic, not a lot yet, I guess that's, we haven't gotten into it yet, but just can't help but be impressed by how beautiful Florida is right here. The water's real choppy right there. That was weird. Did you see that? <laughs> Putting on a show. Do you see that? Oh my goodness. This loop rules with dolphins. Oh my goodness. There's a whole pod of them over there, putting on a Sea World kind of show. Come on. We just passed the barge, and uh, I guess I thought we were done with those, but oh, we've uh, had them before on the well, intracoastal. Yeah, and but, I would imagine that it's probably something to do with maybe delivering fuel to the. Uh, Navy base out here. Oh knows, yeah, yeah, maybe so. Yeah, but maybe. that was very common seeing those in the river. Yeah. And uh, now here they are in the Gulf mm -hmm. ICW. The Gulf ICW. We are at 
mile 180. So we got, uh, I guess, 200 more miles to go to Caramel. So not today. Not today. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're gonna take it easy, anchor two nights, and then make a stop in Appalachicola. I hope explore the town a little bit and uh, then make it over to Carabelle and get settled down. Following these uh, red buoys over on the port side. Getting another dolphin show here. Oh, look at them. You can see them under the water. above the water there was a lot right there like six of them okay so now this is more like it we're getting into the crazy boat traffic the air show is gonna be over there on the right hand side beyond those towers it starts now they had the national anthem about 10 minutes ago and so now the planes are getting ready to do their thing. It's almost as if our captain on the Here's to Us has planned this to be right here, right now. I don't know how he does it. Luck, planning, it could be a little bit of both. Getting ready to go under the Pensacola Beach Bridge. I don't know if you can see it, but there are bumper to bumper cars going over that bridge uh, probably wanting to see the air show and that's going to be going i think the blue angels start about two o'clock this afternoon but there are some activities going on we are taking our shot here and thankfully this is cleared out because just i don't know five minutes ago there were all kinds of little boats rushing to get under on both sides this tiny little space we have the bridge is really long but of course we can only get under the bridge in this particular area so pensacola beach bridge very impressive and then a bridge that used to be i guess cable crossing But there is a lot of activity on this chilly day in the Pensacola, Florida area. There are a lot of planes over there participating in the air show. Unfortunately, the sun is fighting my video right now. But take my word for it, it looks very cool. Any of, of you that have ever seen an air show know how exciting it is. And it's especially exciting over water for some reason. For many years, Sam and I would go to the Cedar Creek Lake air show and watch all the planes in our boat. And it's the one of the largest air shows they have on water happens to be in North Texas. So check it out if you're ever in the area. It is really, really a fantastic air show. And this one is too. We are getting ready to anchor. Look at that water. Oh my goodness, Florida. Beautiful. We are going to be anchoring soon. There is an island right over there. Beautiful white sandy beach. It says Green 59. 
and we're gonna go down a little further and then turn around and anchor behind that island. So looking forward to a very peaceful evening out here in the panhandle of Florida. Hey, thanks for coming along on this trip from Lulu's. We are anchored at a wonderful anchorage here called Specter Island. And uh, we're swinging around a little bit because of the wind, but it should settle down tonight. We're in 15 feet of water. So we'll see you next time on what yacht to do. And don't forget, when you do anchor, go ahead and update the waterway guide anchorage and also active captain. So let other people know about it. Just wanted to share a view of our anchorage here. We're close to Fort Walton Beach, Florida, and enjoying a lovely sunset. Captain's over here working on the route for tomorrow. <laughs> We're going to get an early start and head to another anchorage tomorrow. We're getting this anchoring thing down. <laughs> I mean, it's about time, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there are a couple of other boats that are joining us here tonight. I'll show you through the salt water covered windows, new to us being in this part of the country now. So, a couple others. We are all enjoying the beautiful sky as the sun has recently set. Hope you're having a good day, and we'll see you on the next video.